Hey, what's up? Arky here again. So first of all, thanks a lot for all the awesome comments I got on my last video, which was about my spec. I mean, a lot of you guys uh, brought up some really good points or asked some really good questions, and uh, it made me think. I, I tried a lot of new talents. I, I was experimenting a lot, and uh, I figured out a couple of really awesome tricks. Uh, I don't want to release everything in a single video because uh, it takes a while to edit, so I'm going to try a new formula. I'm going to try releasing smaller clips, just shorter videos where I explain one specific trick. So let me know in the comments what you think about this new formula. Today's video is going to be about a really cool trick I just noticed. I think it's been like that forever. I mean, it would make sense, but I only now noticed it. And it's a pretty damn good trick. Um, the main reason why people will want shamans next season is for Purge. Because Purge is extremely powerful. I mean, shamans aren't exactly top damage. They're not like super bursty. They don't have amazing CC. What they have is Purge. So you want the Shaman because of Purge. So you're going to want to get the maximum out of Purge, right? So the trick is you can actually reduce the cost of Purge just by using it whenever you have clear casting up. And I only now noticed it. So basically, if you deal like a crit with a Lava Burst, you get two stacks of clear casting. And as long as those stacks are up, you can spam Purge. It doesn't consume stacks, but it actually reduces the cost by 40%. Uh, at level 85, it means instead of spending 3.3k mana per Purge, you're actually spending 2.4k which is a lot lower so yeah definitely next season i'm going to be keeping an eye open for uh clear casting when spamming purge it's actually game changing because uh it can be expensive to spam purge especially early in the game when you're trying to strip everybody so i'm probably going to be using that a lot more uh in my next video i'm probably going to release more little tricks like that and uh i mean ellie's in for one rough season next season is going to be pretty rough so in my opinion, you're going to want to min-max everything about your playstyle if you want to be in a good spot in Arena. So all these little tips and tricks that I'm giving out, they might seem like really neglectable factors, but honestly, I think that if you add up all those things, if you apply everything like that, uh, that's what will make the difference between you as a good shaman and some other average shaman. It might not be the only factor. I mean, you got to have like really good awareness and all that stuff, good team synergy i uh, gotta have like experience and all that stuff but uh yeah definitely if you can just apply these things they will make you a better shaman because in the end you won't run um as fast you have a little bit more burst so yeah uh that's why i'm gonna be releasing more little tricks like that and uh i mean if you have any feel free to share so uh thanks a lot for watching peace out